What's up guys, it's ESO here and welcome to the channel where I show you how to get awesome weapons in Fallout 4 and how to mod them to perfection. Today I'll be showing you how to get the unique Kiloton Radium Rifle. This is the best Radium Rifle for damage per second in the game. I'll be telling you how you can make it do 45 explosive damage per second, which is an area of effect, and 150 radiation damage per second, and finally, 93 ballistic damage per second. This weapon is very similar to the unique spray and prey gun which you could get in the original Fallout 4. So if you don't have the Far Harbor DLC yet, you can get that weapon instead. It's almost as good. I'll leave a link on where you can get that in the description. But first, let's actually get the weapon. We can find the Kiloton Radium Rifle in the Nucleus, which is southeast from Far Harbor. You join the Nucleus faction very early on in the Far Harbor DLC. Once inside, come and talk to Brother Kane. He can be found upstairs in this, this small shanty town. But a brief interlude. Someday we will all be oh, brilliant. Time. Just take the staircase up at the I back and then when you see him, ask to barter with him. The weapon only costs 750 Pardon caps, me. which is kind of ridiculous considering how amazing it is. If you don't have 750 caps, there's a quest you can do to easily get that. I'll leave a link to that guide below if you're stuck on how to do it. So firstly let's talk about how we're going to modify this weapon. When we first get the weapon it's not fully automatic. So what you're going to want to do is mod the weapon with the automatic powerful receiver. This will make you fire 1.5 bullets per second. We want to get the fastest firing rate with this gun that we can because that will maximize our damage. Next up mod the weapon with the long barrel or the long ported barrel. This will increase the weapon's range and accuracy when aiming down the scope. Then we're going to add the recoil compensated stock. It reduces the weapon's weight, but it also reduces the recoil too, which is obviously really important. Now you're going to want to get the large quick eject mag. The more ammo we have and less we have to reload, the better. As for the scope, it's kind of up to you. You can put a long one on it if you wish, but personally I prefer the reflex sight, but I'll leave that up to you. And lastly, we have the option to silence the weapon. This actually works really well, but I myself am going to use the muzzle break to maintain the range of the weapon. But again, it depends on how you like to play the game. Now for the perks that we're going to need to further maximize our damage. The physical base ballistic damage of this weapon is 27. We're going to want the commando perk. What this does is double the damage of automatic weapons. And then make sure you get the bloody mess perk too for another 15% boost to your damage. And of course, because we made the weapon automatic, we'll be doing a damage per second of 93. Kiloton's bullets are explosive. They explode on impact and do 15 area of effect damage. So if anybody stands nearby, they'll also get hurt, as you can see in this example with all the feral ghouls. And also, the reason why this effect is so overpowered is that it damages all of your target's limbs too. So if I fire at his right leg, it's probably going to hit his left leg and his torso as well. So what you'll find is that you end up crippling most enemies very, very quickly. So they just can't run up to you and attack you. That's what makes this weapon so overpowered. But to improve the damage further, get the max rank of the Demolition Expert perk. This will double the explosive damage to 30. And because we modded this weapon to be fully automatic, it will actually do 45 explosive damage per second. Next up we have the radiation damage. This gun starts off with a base radiation damage of 50. However, if you get the nuclear physicist perk, it will double the radiation damage to 100. And again, that gives us 150 radiation damage per second. But to be honest, this gun is still overpowered without it, so you don't really need it. But what you'll find is that the radiation damage is super effective against human opponents. It's especially useful when they're wearing lots of armor. And there you have it, the ultimate spray of death. If this video helped you out guys, please give it a like. This is also a good way to let me know that you like this video and you want to see me make more videos like it. I've got a whole playlist of unique weapons that you can acquire in Fallout 4 and how you can get the most damage out of them. I'll leave a link to that playlist in the video description so be sure to check it out. My name is ESO and thanks for watching guys. Do make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Fallout 4 weapon builds and armor guides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.